Hi there! We're going to now start defining our first datasets so that we can start loading our data from Kedro easily. I'm now on the Set up the Data page of the Spaceflight tutorial, and as you can see, there are three files that we care about. There are two CSV files, Companies and Reviews, and one Excel spreadsheet, Shuttles. The idea is that we will modify our catalog to add three dataset entries so that Kedro can load them directly. If I scroll down a little bit, you see that we have to add two entries for companies and reviews, and one more entry for shuttles. Let's do that directly from Jupyter. First of all, I will upload my data so that it's available for the projects. For that, I will go to data, 01 raw, and I will upload my files here. I have them ready in this temp space flights data, and you see that all my files are here. So let's upload it straight away. Next thing, I'm going to create a new notebook to start exploring this data, but I will need one extra dependency. Let's navigate back to our notebooks directory, and I'm going to create a new one that I'm going to call data exploration. I'm going to pick the default kernel again, name this data exploration, and I'm ready to start. Before loading the Kedro extension though, I will need one extra dependency. For that, I will install it directly from Jupyter, and I will do pip install Kedro datasets with the pandas extra. This is going to pull a number of dependencies, which are essential to load any dataset, because dataset loading is now outside of Kedro framework. There are a number of other datasets that you can use, and I highly recommend you to check out the complete list on our documentation. Now, this pulled a number of dependencies, and it means that I'm ready to start loading the catalog. Let me go back to the catalog file again. So now I'm going to go to config base, and I'm going to open my catalog.yaml. And at the moment, this is mostly empty, and it's ready for me to start adding the entries. So the first one is going to be for companies, second one for reviews, and third one for shuttles. Now, each of these dataset entries needs a number of properties. Given that companies and reviews are CSV files, I'm going to declare that the type of these datasets is pandas.csv dataset. Same is going to be for reviews. And I'm going to care about shuttles later. This pandas.csv dataset is the object that Kedro is going to use, in this case taken from Kedro datasets, to load and save the data. I need one more thing, which is specifying the file path, so where exactly my dataset lives. For that, I'm going to add a property called file path, and this is going to include the relative path to the data. So this is going to be data 01 raw companies.csv. And same goes for reviews. So this will be file path data 01 raw reviews. .csv. Now, what happens with the shuttles? Shuttles would need a different dataset type, so this will be pandas excel datasets. This will also have a pile path, so this will be data 01 raw shuttles xlsx. And I need a couple of extra arguments now. So if you see from the documentation, there is these load args with the engine set to open pixel. This load args is going to be passed to the underlying pandas call, which in this case would be pandas.readExcel, and any extra argument that we need can go directly there. So let's do just that. I'm going to go back to my catalog, and I'm going to add load args, engine, open pixel. And now that I have my datasets defined in the catalog, let's go back to the notebook. So I'm ready now to load the kedro.ipython extension. And this is going to do the same thing as before. So it's going to load the different kedro objects. And in this case, it's going to run through the different datasets and load them for me. So if I now 
see the catalog, it's uh, this object here, and catalog has a load method that takes the name of the dataset that I want to load. For example, if I want to load the companies, I specify the dataset name there, and if I scroll down a little bit, you can probably recognize that this is a pandas data frame. In fact, I'm going to store this in a df variable, and I can do df.head, and I can double check that df is a pandas data frame. And we can do the same for all the other datasets that we defined. So, for example, if I do catalog.load reviews, you will see that here are my reviews from my CSV file. And finally, if I do catalog.load shuttles, this is going to load the Excel file and give me all the information that it's stored there. And again, as you can see, this is another pandas data frame that I now have available. If you notice, I never specified here where my dataset lives or what's the file path, which means that if at some point I change the location, I change the file type or any other change that I need to do, I don't have to touch this code because my notebook is completely abstract from where the dataset lives and all the details. This is one of the most powerful capabilities of the Kedro catalog. Now, in the next video, we're going to use these datasets to start analyzing a little bit what do we have here and what pre-processing do we need to do before training our model.